when you make money right out of your own sweat you manage it better than when you win a lottery when somebody gives you something or maybe when you win a lottery people don't know how to spend that money because they do not sweat for it but when you sweat for something you manage it better and you enjoy it more hope you get that who would you want it to be stranded with on a deserted island my husband who else my husband okay let's go what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl ij if this is your first time being here you're welcome to this video and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back for another video and if you're my friend if you're my family thank you for coming back for this video i appreciate each and every one of you if you haven't met me before my name is ij and i'm pleased to meet you welcome 2021 we're excited for this year i'm excited for whatever is coming in 2021 i just hope and pray that it's something this video is something that i haven't done before this is going to be the first of a kind and um i just thought i should take out this time to get to know you guys same as i want you guys to get to know me i went online and i googled some get to know me questions so that we can relate with each other you know what i mean i feel like i've been on youtube for a very long time and i still haven't done a video like this because i want you guys to get to know me and i also want to know the people that are supporting me or who are watching my video so if you can relate to any of these questions i really appreciate it. if you can leave a comment down in the comment section below just let me know what you like what question you were more interested in and um how you like this video so let's jump right into this video there's some fun questions and i'm like i don't even know what's in here but I'm just going to go ahead and read the questions and I'm going to answer the questions. Who is your hero? There is nobody I can, there's no better person I can think of to be my hero than my mom and my dad. Both of them, they have poured so much into our lives and um, I just appreciate them so much. If I cannot look up to them as my hero, I don't know who else I can look um, up to as my hero. So my mom and my dad are my hero. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Um, if I could live anywhere, where would it be? Hmm. Maybe somewhere on an island. I don't know exactly which island, but maybe somewhere on an island. Just having fun, basking in the sun, my legs up on the beach, just enjoying life. I think that's where I want to be, <laughs> somewhere on the island. Then the next question is, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is not being able to be there for my kids. For those of you who don't know me, I have two boys and they, they mean everything to me. They mean the world to me. So um, that's why when I see how some people treat and maltreat other kids or maltreat their own children, I feel very bad. I'm like... Why would you do something like this to your own child? You know what I mean? I'm very sure some of you guys have seen some videos out there how parents maltreat their own born child. And I'm like, mm -mm, that is not right. So my biggest fear is not being it's not um is not being able to be there for my kids. And I just really pray for God to give me a long life and prosperity to give them the things that I was not able to or that was not privileged to have. I just want them to have the best of life and yeah what is your favorite family vacation i know my husband already knows this i want to go to dubai so bad so if i get a chance to go to dubai that would be the very first place i want to go to so my favorite family vacation will be me wanting going to dubai okay what would you change about yourself if you could this one i'm not even going to waste time to answer one thing i would change is my stomach my belly this fupa right here see before i had babies my tummy was just okay me i didn't have the flattest of the flattest tummy that was fine i loved it but after having two kids this belly right here 
is my biggest problem i love everything about myself god knows that i love everything head to toe but the only thing that i would like to change is just this this belly right here i never want to show you guys but yes what really makes you angry hmm what really makes me angry what really makes me angry is when people misunderstand me because i will believe that i have a very good heart for everybody that i deal with and when i say or do things to people and you misunderstand me that really pains me a lot i really wish people can understand me i know i'm a little bit i won't say complicated but if you know me you you would love to be around me but if you don't understand me our relationship will not will not be so good so if you want to be a friend of mine you have to actually take out that time to understand who i am in order for us to be friends what really makes you angry is when people misunderstand me that that i don't i don't like i like to be on the same page with people which is not always the case and that's life that's totally fine i've learned to you know understand that people have their own perspectives they have their own way of thinking and that's totally fine what motivates you to work hard my kids motivate me to work hard that is the first and then secondly i aspire so much to help many people out there so that also motivates me to work hard i know they are very there are people out there who don't even have food to eat they don't have a place to live i want to be in a place where i can reach out to many as i can and you know just do the things i want to get to a place where i'm comfortable not just to help my family but to be able to help millions of people out there so that really motivates me to want to do more to want to acquire more or to want to spread my wings or something what is your favorite thing about your career hmm this i'll not even waste time my favorite thing about my career is just seeing somebody who comes into the hospital who is not able to take care of themselves or maybe they are in pain just that ability to know that you can help somebody to the point where they can be better from where they were before makes me very happy so just seeing somebody in a place where they cannot take care of themselves and maybe whatever we do in the hospital the care we provide the medications we give and um, whatever skills that we have to carry on on them and seeing them the next day being able to do those things that they were not able to do before they came into the hospital makes me very happy what is your biggest complaint about your job my biggest complaint about my job <coughs> as people who complain and not do anything if you're a nurse you know exactly what i'm talking about let's go to the next question what is your favorite book to read hmm. guys i'm not one of those who read who stand with books so the only book i read is the one they give me in school or my bible i'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that i read this i read that i read that no way mm -mm. I'm not a reader. I'm not a reader. I am more of a visual learner. I watch things and I get information. I'm not one who sit and read books. So the only books I read are those that have been required of in my school or my Bible. I hope that answers the question. Okay. What was the last movie you went to? what did you think huh. boy inside quarantine i cannot even think when when last did we go to the movies um we last went to the movies last two years <laughs> we last went to the movies what was the last movie you went to watch yeah you went to remember you went to the movies to watch right so we went we last went to the movies last two weeks and i can't even remember the movie we watched i'm sorry guys no the last movie we went to watch was black panther yes because we watched it with my with my two sons and they were still little by then the last movie we went to watch was black panther that's it and what did you like what did you think about it, it was a very say that movie was like what did you want to be when you were small i've always wanted to be a nurse and i am a proud nurse now 
yes what does your child want to be when he or she grows up my elder son wants to be a doctor my younger son says that he wants to catch bad guys but my younger son loves to play with cars i think he's going to be an engineer and i'm going to prophesy this i prophesy that my younger son is going to build a car when he gets older or when he gets to that age this boy loves cars jj loves cars anything about moto bring him for that picking he like him so i will be shocked be surprised if he doesn't build a car in future he is going to do that if you could choose to do anything for a day what would it be if i could choose to do anything for a day what would it be shopping <laughs> i love to shop if i'm sad take me to the store you see me also i will smile what is your favorite game or sport to watch and play I'm not a sports person. Game. <laughs> I'm not a game person either. What two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most? Do we listen to radios these days? Nah, we don't listen to radio so. <laughs> uh, I play songs on my phone. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Meat. Anything that's animal, bring it. I'm fine. You can carry any other thing and go. I'm totally fine. Those of you who know me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anything that is meat, fish, chicken, beef, goat, whatever, bring it. I'll eat that. Um, do you like or dislike surprises? Why or not? Why not? I love surprises when it's carried out good. I love surprises. So I love surprises when it's done in a good way, when it's done, when it's well organized. You cannot do a surprise and then you do surprise and there's nobody there. Would you rather win the lottery or work at the perfect job and why? I would rather work at the perfect job. When you make money, right, out of your own sweat, you manage it better than when you win a lottery. When somebody gives you something or maybe when you win a lottery, People don't know how to spend that money because they do not sweat for it. But when you sweat for something, you manage it better and you enjoy it more. Hope you get that. Who would you want to be stranded with on a deserted island? My husband. Who else? My husband. Okay, let's go. If you could go back in time, what year would you travel to? If I could go back in time, what year will I travel to? Huh. I'll say 2015. Why? Because that was the year I had my first son. That was my first pregnancy and that was when I moved to the US to be with my husband. So I'll say 2015. How would your friends describe you? How my friends describe me? I beg, my friends, if you know you're my friend, please come and answer this question. How would you guys describe me? What are your hobbies? Do you want to know? Makeup. 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 Makeup is my hobby. If makeup is a hobby, then that is my hobby. If makeup is not a hobby, then that's it. What is the best gift you have? You have been given. The best gift I've been given is my having my children that's my best gift and my husband how many pillows do you sleep with one are you a clean or messy person who wants to answer that question for me i want you guys to answer that question do i am i a clean or a messy person if you look at me what do you see clean or messy answer that question for me down in the description bar let me slip in the comment section let me see what you guys will think then i'll tell you guys then do you collect anything not really i just collect makeup <laughs> are you an introvert or an extrovert i think i'm both to some people i am an introvert but to people that i'm close to 
that I'm close to that I'm that I'm close to I am an extrovert so I think I have a lot of questions so just to add to this question I am from okay nationality wise I am a Nigerian but I was born in Cameroon I have two kids two boys four and five lovely boys yes I am married what else I am a nurse like you guys already know what do I love to do for fun? I love to do makeup. And it so that's it for this video, guys. If there are any questions you guys are interested in knowing about me, please leave a comment down in the comment section. I can do another video if you guys are interested. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will talk to you guys. And just one thing I just want to add to this video. 2020 is here. I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you guys so much for all your support for the past years. I know I've not been so consistent when it comes to videos and stuff and stuff. And that's where I'm still at the points I am. But it's just that life continues, you know, so much has happened in 2020. And then school, work. I am a full-time nurse. I am a full I'm a full-time student as well. So it's kind of hard to juggle between work school and family and then being able to do videos to it like that's just a lot so i just do how much i can do i can't come and kill myself no so i just really want to wish you guys a happy new year and i hope that this year is going to be one of the best not nothing like 2020 let's hope for the best and just keep our fingers crossed make sure you have your wishes for this year make sure you have your vision what you want to accomplish for this year what are your goals set some goals for this year i have mine written down it in my bible have yours written and what are the goals just so that by the end of 2021 you go back to those goals or the vision that you have you had written down you see if you were able to accomplish it it's good to set goals and have a vision for yourself because it helps you like it helps you stay focused and to put you on the right track such that if you're falling or drifting away you can easily get back on track so i encourage you guys to set some goals have something that you aspire or that you want to do before the end of 2021 set both long-term goals and short-term goals something that you want to accomplish maybe in the next two to three months or maybe the entire year and set some long-term goals for maybe in the next two three years or something so i just want to wish you guys a happy 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 new year and we hope that in 2021 is going to be nothing like 2020 let's just stick together stay together and just you know be a keeper for one another thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll talk to you guys in my next video i always tell you remember you are the original there is no cop there is no counterfeit of you there is no photocopy of you you are the best don't allow anybody to tell you you are nothing but the best take good care of yourself guys i'll talk to you in my next video bye guys